Hi, I'm making vegetable loaf today and the ingredients required are about uh, 2 to 2 and a half cup grated carrot, 2 to 2 and a half cup grated broccoli. You can also take cauliflower, cabbage, uh, 1 cup diced capsicum, 1 and a half cup mashed potato, oil, about 4 tablespoons, half cup onion, salt, garlic powder or you can also use fresh garlic. This is optional. I have this so I'm using. This is uh, roasted garlic and pepper. You may not use it if you do not have black pepper, parsley, oregano, about two to two and a half cup breadcrumbs made out of fresh bread and five eggs. Here I have cheese, it's optional, grated cheese. And uh, I'll be making bacon roll just to show you. So um, I have some bacons here. So let's go ahead and start preparing. Garnishing. I've taken some onion slices, cucumber strips, tomato slices and capsicum strips. You can take whatever vegetables you want for decoration. Heat the pan and pour the oil. Add the onion. Fry till it becomes translucent in color. Onions have now become light brown in color. So I'll add some garlic powder, maybe about two teaspoons. And add all the vegetables. Carrot. Broccoli and the capsicum. Fry it lightly. Add salt about two and a half to three teaspoon or according to taste. Mix well. Now about uh, two teaspoon oregano and two and a half teaspoon parsley. You can use fresh too if you have fresh parsley, but it's optional. If you do not have, don't worry about it. I like the flavor of oregano and parsley, so I use oregano and parsley in some of my dishes. I'll add about uh, two to three teaspoon roasted garlic and pepper. Again, this is optional. You don't have to worry about it if you don't have. Mix well. I'm adding the mashed potato now, about one and a half cup. Mix well and then let it cool before you add the egg and breadcrumbs. And also black paper. Add the black paper in the end so it retains its flavor. The best part of this uh, vegetable loaf is you can prepare a day before you have people over for dinner or lunch. I'll add the breadcrumbs. Mix well.
let the vegetable mixture cool and in the meantime I'll break about five to six eggs I have about five eggs here so I just blend it in the mixer add about one teaspoon black paper has cooled down so I'll add the eggs and then mix well I have this loaf tin here I've just lined it with the wax paper if you do not have you just grease the loaf tin properly and sprinkle some flour on it so that the vegetable loaf does not stick to the pan. I'm putting the mixture on the pan carefully. Sprinkle some cheese. This is also optional, but I like the cheese flavor and the taste of cheese, so I'll just put some in between. I'll put some more mixture on top of the cheese. Bake it for about uh, half an hour or until the toothpick inserted in it comes out clean in 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I've taken some of the mixture in a small bowl and mix some cheese in it for uh, the bacon roll you don't have to be so perfect with the measurement you can just uh, add two or three tablespoons cheese and mix well I have chicken bacon and I cut them into half I'll take one small scoop of the mixture and just roll it here I've just taken one scoop and I'm going to roll it I'm going to show you one more If you do not have bacon you can just take a, a small portion grease your palm and you can shape it in whichever way you want round square and just bake it I've made this rectangular and then I'll make round I 
I bake it now for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the filling becomes firm. Let me check now if that's done. I just insert a toothpick. Yeah, it's done. It's come out clean. Vegetable loaf and bacon roll is done. And we'll serve with freshly baked croso and uh, french fry. Gently remove the wax paper. I'll now garnish the vegetable loaf with sliced onion and tomato slices. Serving vegetable loaf and bacon roll with freshly baked croissant and french fry. Hope you like this dish. Do try it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.